nice to see you, my young friend. Incendio!
Was it two pinches Shouldn't of Angelica or three? Someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. 
I simply need a single fupa feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions.